risk of being accused of being an attorney or trying to be an attorney, I'm going to remind everyone in the council that we all took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the California State. And I'm going to talk about gifts, gifts of public funds. I'm opposed for a number of reasons to have the ballot uh, placed, uh, include the, uh, on November 8th, the Measure B. Uh, and I'm not going to re-argue those tonight. But I am going to bring up something that I just found out this weekend uh, in more detail. Um, the state, California, it's different in different states, but in California, the state constitution, Article uh, 16, Section 6 to be exact, prohibits the making of gifts, in quote, of public funds. And quote, the legislature shall have no power to make any gift or authorize the making of any gift of any public money or thing of value to any individual, municipal, or other corporation, whatever, unquote. And as it relates to the airport, and I think it's important that we listen to the words, the, this is what the relation. Relating to the Attorney General opinion, and by the way, it's opinion number 05-309 from December 6th of 2005, then uh, Attorney General Bill Lockyer, and it had absolutely nothing to do with the airport, but he was discussing gift to public funds. But Dr. Gordon, let me get a clarification here. This motion does not contain anything about public funds. This, this, it absolutely does. You're going to have the Well, I just read it. I just, he just read it. I mean, read it to me where it says something about public funds. You're going to put a ballot measure on November 8th, and to do well, so, you're read, going to need funds. Read the agenda. The agenda item does not refer to any public funds whatsoever. I, Madam City Attorney? It says, authorize the city clerk to enter into professional service agreement, approve form with the attorney, uh, city attorney with Martin Chapman Company for services related no, to... No, no, that's number two. We're talking about number one right now. We're addressing number one. You're going to hold a special municipal election. Someone's going to pay for it. Well, it's, I, don't, I want the city attorney to weigh in. I don't believe there's any funding... Discussion. This in isn't contingent on right. that. No, it's not. I, I want you to weigh in, please. Well, there is, I mean, you're correct. The motion has to do with adoption of the, of the ordinance. But I think Dr. Gordon's point is that who's going to pay for it? And if we're saying the airport authority and we, there was an announcement earlier that they agreed to pay for it, that that raises issues to him. And so... That's why he's bringing it up. I don't, you're correct that it doesn't go exactly to point to the motion, but I believe it's on target to what we're here discussing. The mayor sent okay. a letter discussing okay. funds. Vice Mayor. Um, okay. Uh, I, 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 because the motion isn't contingent on it, uh, I wouldn't have discussed it and, in fact, would continue to support it. However, I will say that's a reasonable concern. As soon as he said gift of, without all the drama and the other stuff that came along with it, but when he said gift of public funds, I, I, that's a fair question, and I would want to look into that. Um, and so maybe we can hold off on that part, um, because, uh, uh, yeah, I would, I would like, I would like, I don't know, an AG's opinion, something like that, 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 uh, well, okay, you expressed some surprise at that. That, that uh, it's not a problem for uh, the airport authority to give us the money paying for that election. So, one, I mean, you don't just ask for a, an, a, an attorney general's opinion and get it back before the election. But the, I don't pretend to advise the airport authority, and I know they have their own lawyers that will advise them on whether they believe it would be a conflict for them or a gift of public funds under the rules that they operate under to pay for the election. I can tell you that when you talk about a gift of public funds, that the, in the case of a city, the legislative body has wide latitude in the reasonableness of your making a decision whether something is for a public purpose. Here, the authority 
and as I said, I can't speak for them, but the authority is seeking to reimburse the city for an election that goes directly to their own interest. They want the election in November because what they said last week, so I'm just going by what's been said here, is their belief that that is the most, and in the past what they've said, the most voters that can come out. And so therefore, they are willing to pay for that. And I could see very how reasonable minds would say that's a reasonable decision on their part and not necessarily against if that section even applies to them against the prohibition of the use of public funds. And again, I'm speaking from a standpoint, from a city standpoint, it, deference is given to the city's decision making processes. There are cases out there, there are AG opinions on use of public funds. And I can't sit here and quote them verse, and nor do I really believe it's well, appropriate because it is the authority's decision. I mean, you, if you're saying to me, can I guarantee there's no issue, and so therefore the council might end up having to pay for it, that would be a separate question that I could look into, but I was yeah, not Yeah, my concern prepared. obviously is in receiving it, not, it, look, look at what they paid for logos and to find somebody who said, call it Hollywood Burbank. You know, they're, they're, they're not as tight with a buck as I might be, clearly. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm I, I'm mildly not to the again not to the point of wanting to withdraw the motion. Uh, but before we take any checks, I want to. Well, the other thing is that somebody would have to actually challenge it too. You know what I mean? It's not just a matter of. Ah, uh, but there's right and wrong, and. Excuse me. There's still right and wrong. Well, no, I'm wrong. saying if they make the decision because they believe it's in their public, that it is a public purpose, they're the ones that get to defend. But the authority is seeking to reimburse the city for an election that goes directly to their own interest. They want the election in November because what they said last week, so I'm just going by what's been said here, fine, under the normal rules, at least when it's a city, you get to define as the body to say this is what the public purpose is. Somebody would have to challenge that that's not a legal public purpose. That was my point. Um, but if Tesla gives me a Tesla car, they don't just get in trouble for giving me the car, I get in trouble for taking it too, don't I? No, you would not get in trouble for oh, I got a car. taking it. Well, I'm not talking about the car. I'm oh. talking about if you, if the airport authority says, with based on their legal counsel's advice, that this is within it, and we accept that money. No, you're not going to get in trouble. It's they're the ones that are making. If a court was to find it a gift of public funds, then yes, the council may have to say, well, somebody had to pay for that, and we just paid for it. There's lots of what if, what if, what ifs. And I, but as I said, I have not discussed this with the attorneys from the airport. I'm not in a position to. Understood. Councilman.